Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are going to do another page setup. This was the last video we did in the album that we're currently making and where we made the, the funky, the funky cool <laughs> wax seal. I want to do a page setup in the middle of these two. So this was the front of this page with the triple flip, right? And then here's the middle, and then here is the back. So I wanted to do something here, kind of like we did in this first page setup. We have this, and then here's the middle, where they're kind of the same. Well, these, these are the same. Uh, and then I didn't do anything on the back of this one yet. So I'm thinking about doing something along the same lines, doing the same, kind of the same thing on each side. Well, I guess it, I keep saying kind of, I think it's probably gonna be the same. So, I've already printed and prepped everything uh, to get this constructed, and then I'll show you that, and then we'll go from there. Oh, this is, this is the Miel, 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 Miel. This is the paper collection we're using. I have a video playlist for this album, and I'll take you step by step. I will link it up here in the cards and down below in the description box. And then there's also a special Amazon list for this project, and links to everything and anything I can think of are down in the description box as well. So don't forget to check that out. Don't forget to leave me a comment too and let me know what you're thinking. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. All of that stuff matters. Oh, and make sure that you're subscribed. Somebody told me the reason that, or a way to maybe fix, if, if I'm not showing up in your feed, a way to maybe fix that is to have you unsubscribe to my channel and then subscribe to my channel back. Like unsubscribe and then resubscribe to get you back into the rotation or get me back into your rotation. <laughs> Anywho, um, so you can try that if you want to. So... Let me show you what I've got. I've already printed and prepped. I have in the portrait on page P8. We've already used this page once in the album, but we're going to be using both pieces. So we're going to do the pocket page flip. This is page P8. I printed two of them on white cardstock and I cut them slightly different and I also printed the floral background. So this one, um, one of them, I cut it out like this. Oops, is that one? Well, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to be using this side. So I guess really it's like this. If you were using it right side up. So I cut one of them three tabs off of the big part, the big part of the page, and one long tab off the small part. So we're going to be using the back side of here. Uh, as a pocket and this one whoops, this one is going to be a flip so I put tape and I've inked both sides of this and I put tape on the side that the floral is printed and then on this one I put tape on the side that the floral is not printed okay I did cut these to where they don't overlap so that, that we can cut down on some bulk so that's what I did on one of them the other one I did this one the exact same because we're going to be using the plain side. So for this one, because this has a direction, that's the only reason I'm kind of showing you this. I left this long tab and took these three tabs off. Okay, and then this is the same thing. I just took one long tab off. I flipped it over, inked it, I scored it, inked it, and put tape on the plain side. And this one, whoops, I have tape on the printed side. So I've got those. Oops, I don't need the mat. I haven't, I haven't decided how I'm going to mat these yet. We might just do construction today. Um, and then out of the enhancement pack, so the Simply Magical enhancement pack, I printed page E1, which is this page right here, not the mats, but page E1, I printed the plain and I just printed one onto white cardstock, and I haven't cut this one out yet because I will tell you why in just a minute. So that's all I have printed and prepped and ready to go. So we'll get to this in a second. So I think what I want to do is, I'm going to open this up. 
think I'm going to go ahead and attach these down. I think that's what I want to do. It doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to put the pocket on this side. Oh, I did not score well. That's okay though. It's, it's a very forgiving template. These are very forgiving templates. So I'm going to open that up and I'll put the pocket closest to the center. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to take the tape off of the long tab and I'm not going to go over. I'm trying to, since I scored it bad, not, not very good, <laughs> I'm trying to give even space top and bottom. Okay, so then I'm going to take the tape backing off of the two small tabs. Tape, that tape that I'm using is cherry on tops, three eighths of an inch tape. And then I'm gonna put, on this page, I'm gonna put the flap that has the long tab on the right side. I'm gonna put it here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And then we'll do the other side. I'm trying to make sure that I've got it at least. Yeah, I just scored these wrong, so that's okay. All right, don't go past the edge there. All right, so I'm going to burnish these down. Oh, I didn't put the tape down. Well, we'll just have to mat it all the way down because I didn't put the piece of tape there. That's okay. It's just a shallow pocket. So we've got this side. Now let me do the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna flip that stuff out of the way here, just so it's easy, a flat surface. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this. And I'm pretty sure I probably scored this one the exact same way. <laughs> That's okay. So somewhere around here, I've got a magnet from the back side from where I did this. So that's kind of what gave me the idea to do this, is I can use that magnet. Oh, it's close. To my benefit. Whoops. Do I have it upside down? Oh, I do. Okay. Maybe that's better. So, let's see. I think I'll put the magnet here and a magnet. I might do two magnet. Ah, uh, no, that'd be too much. I'm going to put a circle around here and that way I can put the magnet back. I'm trying to decide if I need to do a magnet or a magnet saver because we're going to put a little bit of weight on the front here and I don't want it flopping around. I think I'll do a magnet just to be on the safe side. So that'll be, that'll be four magnets right here, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, so we're going to start on this one and I'm going to get... I get my little my little glue dot my biggie my jiggy thing my bib thing my bob. I'm just gonna stick my glue dot right there and push that down. And I'm gonna get a oh, hang on. I'm gonna get 
post-it note. I'm going to stick it in between here. Do I have that exactly? Yep. All right, I'm going to put glue dot on that. Boy, these glue dots are strong. Make sure I've got it right. Yep. Then I'm going to close this. Just like that. And I'm gonna put another, another one there. And I should be able to do that. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see if this works out. If not, we'll start over. <laughs> I'm sure there's a really easy way to do this. I just, I just don't know. Alright, so I got that there. And then let me get another thirsty note. Stick another magnet. All my magnet resources are linked down below, you guys. You can get some really good deals. I've also got them linked in the Amazon. All right, let's cross our fingers that I did this right. And then once they're closed together, okay, they don't like repel each other. So even though it may not matter, I just wanted to make sure that they, that they were on the same page, like that they could meet together if they need to. So I'm gonna leave the post-it notes there for now. The next thing I want to do is I want to show you, I'm going to put this on this flap, but I'm going to show you how to just use this one to make the two pockets. Okay, I'm going to take this, and this is page E1 from the enhancement pack, and I'm going to line it up with this part here, with this top one. So it's going to go a little past this top one, okay, because this one's a little bit longer than this one. So I'm going to cut, you know, going off of that line there. So you just end up cutting a little bit more of the distressed part off there. And then I'm going to cut all the way around. They're not very straight, it looks like. Leaving all the tabs. And I'm going to separate them. Okay, they should be exact. Let me double check. Yeah, almost exact. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out Oops. like that and I'm going to use this to trace that little little triangle out just like that all 
right? All right, so I'm going to score all three on each one and then put tape and everything, and then I'll be right back. Both of these are prepared just like so the idea, I think, is what I want to do is put them, each one, on this flap, and it'd be a pocket. So I'm going to attach one down first, and then I'll just match the other one with a ruler or something, I think. That's what I'm going to do. So let me grab, let me grab something pokey. <laughs> All right, I am going to remove the tape backing. I just took the bottom off because I'm going to I am going to put some tape. You know what I should do? My glue stick trick. That way I got a second. But I'm trying to just eyeball middle, you know, even. So, I do that. Oops. And we'll grab a fresh piece of tape. So on the tops here, I did angle them enough to where you cannot see them when you're looking from there, right? You cannot see them. Hang on. Let me open this up so that it'll, so I can glue it down flat. Because we're not, we didn't mat this or anything, um, it just is what it is. So I didn't want you to see the white tab, I guess, I'm trying to say. Right, so there's that. All right, first thing I'm going to do though is on the second one here, I'm going to attach to the bottom just like I did the first one, except I'm going to get my ruler out to make sure that they are that they are. Correctly. I did pretty good actually. A half an inch from the edge. Pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to use that. Whoop. Did I get on there crooked? Did I get it on there crooked? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I'm glad I didn't press. Come on, let go. Uh oh. You know what you got to do when this happens. I'm going to grab the undo because it's crooked. If it wasn't crooked, it wouldn't matter. But it is. So, I'm just going to put some undo on here. Hopefully, I don't have to use too much. tape. You know what, let's see if I can just eyeball it. I think it'll stick. Ideally you should let this dry, right, before you do anything else, but I'm not going to. We're going to Throw caution to the wind. Okay. I didn't pull any of the tape off, so that should be fine. Okay. I don't think I matched it up perfectly, you guys. But it's okay. We're just going to go. I tried. That's all I can do is try. Oh, it's not too bad. Right? Not too bad. One more thing. Two more things. I got I printed the insert for these and I have another idea. So let me show you what I printed. 
It is well, somewhere. Is this it right here? Yep. Page E7 in the enhancement pack. It, this is the mat. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. This is the insert for those pockets for behind it. So I printed two of page E7. So what I did was I cut those parts away. I cut those parts away and I cut these little pockets. I think we're going to add an additional pocket at the bottom of these pockets. Right? Won't that be cute? Okay, so that's all I did. They're just plain white cardstock. Page E7. And I've already got everything whoop, prepped and ready to go. So let me put this over here and I'm going to put these in my and my um my pouch here this are these are the templates that I need to use I'm, I'm getting quite a few so I thought I better have them have them in their own little home so I'll have to use those at a later date so here is the insert I just inked it up on both sides I just printed plain there's the insert that's supposed to go behind you know if it's an envelope it's supposed to go behind the envelope um, so there's those and then these little guys what do you think would that be cute I don't have an insert for that yet but we could use the envelopes that we made it might be too much but we'll see we could use maybe the booklets that we made um, we could we've got these tags from the last video or the video before that I don't remember I'm losing track <laughs> but anyway what do you think I think we're gonna add them so again I'm gonna just attach the bottom first so that I can put a piece of tape so that I can have full use of the pocket just gonna go at the bottom there just like that I need to get I need to be better about getting the right size of tape there we go This one's overlapping a little bit. If it's overlapping, just take a little sliver off. And that should whoop, and this one too. Shoot. Okay. So attach the bottom. I got too much. Honestly, it's either too much or not enough. I've been, uh, while I'm doing all this prep work off camera, I've been listening to an audiobook. Uh, where the crawl did what? What's it called? Uh, where the crawl did sing. I've been listening to this on audiobook. It's pretty good. I wanted to listen to it first before I saw the movie because I want to see the movie. I love Reese Witherspoon, so um, I, I'm, she's the director of the movie. I'm pretty sure. So yeah. So anyway, I've been listening to that. It's pretty good. Okay. Um. I think you guys. I think. I don't know what inserts I want to put in the pockets yet. I don't know what I want to put here. I don't know how I want to mat things. So I think we'll just leave it here. This will be the next video we'll maybe we'll do. Well, hopefully. I don't know. I keep jumping around. Uh, so it's okay. But next video we will do the matting maybe. Maybe have some tab pulls on the top here. We'll see. All right, you guys. Um, let me know what you think. 
give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out uh, the description box with all the links down there, uh, all the important links. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.